got one. First cast, look at that, unbelievable guys. First cast, I'm gonna say this guy's at least 13 inches. Oh, he's a jumper, look at that, oh, that, that's freaking awesome. Look at those fins, perfect, intact, healthy colors. Look at those black spots along him. All right, so I drove quite a ways, I'm out here. I found a spot right here and just gonna do a little bit of truck camping. I'm next to a creek. I'm gonna camp here um, and then I don't know, might do some fishing tonight, but I'm gonna do some fishing in the morning for sure. And I'm gonna be going after some trout. There's a few different species of trout in this river. So we'll see what we hook into, but um, I just wanted to show you guys my little camp setup here in my truck. It's nothing extravagant. It's just easy for me to, just somewhere basically for me to sleep at the end of the day, you know, just travel and have somewhere to sleep. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. So this is the, the bed of my truck. And what I've got here is a, um, just an old mattress. And I got a white sheet. I got a sheet down there so the mattress don't get as dirty, but an old mattress, nothing fancy. And then I got a blanket and a sleeping bag. Basically, that's it. I mean, I got a heater right there in case it gets cold, but I haven't had to use that. That's it, just mattress, blanket, sleeping bag, pillow. That's it. Nothing crazy. And I've actually already made dinner. I got some portable grills and stuff that I cooked up dinner with. Steak and asparagus. Good morning, it is chilly. I'm gonna say it's just above freezing. It was a cold night, but the sleeping bags and the blanket kept me pretty warm. Um, I didn't have to turn on the heater until this morning because I didn't want to get out of bed, so I, I turned on the heater. That helped a little bit. So the plan is we're gonna get some coffee going, make some breakfast, and then the fun part fishing we're gonna be chasing some trout species there's four different trout species I believe so hopefully we can hook into a big one so we'll see what happens Okay, first thing on the agenda, coffee. This is pre-made coffee from home. And I'm just gonna put it in my jet boil, warm it up. That's breakfast right there with some coffee.
it is a beautiful day today the sun is out nice and bright the water is running pretty fast it's super clear I don't know if I did an intro last night or not but hey guys my name is Eric and I'm always on a fishing adventure today I'm at the river chasing some trout last night I found my spot I parked and I camped woke up this morning had some coffee some breakfast and now I'm ready to go so let's see if we can hook into some trout first cast let's see what we can hook into Got one. First cast. Look at that. Unbelievable, guys. First cast. That feels good, but the, the current is really strong. Sorry, I'm really excited. I'm going to loosen my drag here. Look at that, guys. Right away. First cast. Been here a split second. Looks like a nice rainbow. Dude, it looks kind of look like he's snagged, but it could be the second hook. Look how beautiful that fish is. Yeah, he swiped at it. The juvenile rainbow trout. I'm gonna hook him as quick as I can. Try to show it to you guys, but there he goes. Nice and healthy. That was awesome, yes. The day's already a success. First cast, land, uh, hooked the rainbow trout, it was a juvenile. I wish I could have showed you up close on the camera, but unfortunately he got away. I, I'm trying to be careful with these fish, not to handle them too much. And yeah, he, he slipped out of my hands and he was gone. So, but anyways, that was awesome. Let's get in there and see if we can get another one. Got one, hooked up guys. This one feels bigger. This one feels bigger than the last one. Oh yeah, he's running. Oh, he's jumping. He's a good fighter. He's fighting for sure. And that current is a lot harder to get him in. I'm gonna bring him out here in the shallow water. Oh, he's a good one guys, he's a good one. I'm gonna say this guy's at least 13 inches. Oh, he's a jumper. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. This is so awesome, guys. You guys got to come out here and do this. If you like the video so far, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. But give me some positive criticism. Don't be a hater. Anyway, let's get back to this fish. Look at that guy. Oh, he feels good. He's all tangled up, I think. Nope. Nice rainbow. Native rainbow. He feels heavy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful fish. I guess 13 inches. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm keeping this guy. This is going to be my lunch. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. Just got him. Just barely got him off the bank. He got off. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Look at those fins. Perfect. Intact. Healthy colors. Look at those black spots along him, all along his body. He's got that dorsal fin. He's got some white on those fins. Beautiful, healthy fish. He feels heavy. He might not be long, but he is heavy. Beautiful rainbow trout. Just gorgeous. I think I guessed 13 inches when I was reeling him in, but he's actually pushing 14 inches. But that right there is a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. So excited, that's awesome, man. So basically all I'm doing is casting this jerk bait out into the heavy current and letting it drift down for a little bit and then popping it, reeling in, popping it, and letting the current take it down and popping it. Basically what it's imitating is a, a dying fish 
flowing down with the current and struggling to keep up and swim upstream and then putting push back down and then swim upstream again and that's how i've been catching this fish i'll just cast it let it drift down with the current give it a couple pops reel in pops reel in pops reel in that's it and i'm just casting in different areas I'll just cast different areas. If that one didn't work, I'll cast down further and the shallow water and then come in the current, pop it, let it drift down, pop it, drift down, pop it. And that's all I'm doing. And I'll just work this area pretty well because it's pretty deep over there, all along there, that wall. I feel like there's tons of fish in here. I'll throw it upstream in the current, let it drift down, pop, pop, and it's real. I just got to hope a fish is in the area and it'll hit it. Alright, 15 minutes till 1, I'm still working this hole right here. It's it's very deep against that wall right there. I feel like there's a lot of fish in this area. I've already caught, what, three of them? So I'm just going to keep working this area. Got one. Look at that. Right away, guys. Amazing. So what I'm doing is I'm casting as far as I can to that rock wall because it's deep over there and it's bringing it across that calm water into that current and then back out to the calm water and they're just... Those fish are just right in there. I feel like they're right deep in that current. Let's see what kind of fish this is. Oh, it looks, looks decent. I'm gonna walk them down to the shallow area. Oh, he's a fighter, he's a fighter. He's not, he's not ready. Get him out of that current. Another rainbow. He doesn't want to come out of that current. Come to shore, buddy. There we go. Got my hemostats right here. I'm going to unhook them. Oh, yeah, that's a decent fish. That's a good 12 incher. I think I found a spot to uh, cook up my fish. I'm gonna cook up that trout and have some lunch. But check out the spot I found. Right next to the river, got some shade, some boulders, nice little flat area. I think I'm gonna cook right on that rock right there. That'll be perfect. Okay, we got Mr. Trout here. I'm gonna clean it up and get it ready to cook. I don't know about you guys, but a majority of the fish that I catch, I always find snails in their stomach. So these fish feed on snails, little small crustaceans on the bottom. And I found, I found pebbles in some fish before. And I'm not sure, but obviously the snails are some food, but I used to think when I found the pebbles in the fish, they were eating it to help them digest their food, but I don't know, that's just my theory. Or maybe they're just mistaking them for shells. That. 
trout is one of the easiest fish to clean. Just clean out the inside, take off the head. So I already know this trout's too big for my pan, so I'm gonna cut it in half and score it right now, make life easier. But look at that gorgeous meat. Look at that. Pink meat. That looks amazing. That's one piece. Look at that gorgeous chuck and beat. Mm. I don't have any butter today, but that's okay. We're gonna keep this simple anyways. Okay, here's my beautiful fish. Look at that meat. Gorgeous pink meat, look at that. So good. Got the scores. So what I'm gonna do now is just season it with some cavenders. You guys know by now, this is what seasoning I've been using lately. Cavenders, all-purpose Greek seasoning. It's delicious. Just gonna put some inside. You wanna be very generous with the seasoning, I've noticed. I'm always having to put more after I cook it, so I'm just gonna go heavy. Look at that. The fish, straight in the pan. Oh yeah. What I've noticed about this cooker is that you gotta be careful because the heat stays directly in the middle. I, what I like to do is just move the pan around just to distribute that heat everywhere on that pan. Starting to smell good. That trout with that cameter. It's gonna be good. I think it's ready to be flipped. I'm just gonna flip that over. Oh yeah, it's almost done. A few more minutes, then we're gonna be eating this bad boy. All right, that fish is done. There you go, there you have it. Fresh fish from the river. Rainbow trout cooked in oil with some Cavenders, all-purpose Greek seasoning, and some barbecue chips. Easy, let's give it a taste. This meat is pink compared to uh, stock rainbow trout. Look at that. Fresh, pink, native rainbow trout. When I was cooking it, I could smell the difference of that rainbow trout being a native than a stock trout. But here we go, some cavender seasoning. Mm. Wow guys, that is so good. After a long day fishing on the river, chasing these fish, jumping from spot to spot, cooking it nice and fresh, doesn't get any better than that. Mm. The only thing I wish I did have, for some reason today, is some lemon. But it doesn't get no easier. Fresh fish, some potato chips. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely eat the skin. They say it's not healthy to eat, but for me it gives it more flavor and I enjoy eating that. This was, especially if you can get it a little crispy and not burnt. It's so good. Look at that chunk of fish. That fish was tasty and it was so simple to cook. I caught it fresh out of this river right here. Thanks for joining me guys. I want to thank every one of you that clicked on this video. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I think I'm gonna go down there and fish a little bit more. As always, Thanks for watching, and remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living. I'll catch you on the next one.